What's up guys, I device help here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get Apple's CarPlay on iPhone or iPad. Now, of course, you're gonna to have to jailbreak your device in order to do this. Links will be down below for my jailbreak tutorial. Then what you wanna do is head on over to Cydia, and in the search tab, you wanna type in CarPlay iOS. Now, no additional sources need to be added to Cydia, just simply search and download. The application is gonna look something like this, and this is gonna allow you to have Apple's CarPlay on your device iPad or iPhone. Now this is going to be very useful if you have your iPhone or iPad mounted onto your car and you can use the software to reply to text messages and things like that hands free while keeping your eyes on the road. Exactly what Apple intended with their original CarPlay head units and also the Apple CarPlay that's been built into many many vehicles these days. So how does it work? There's a few things here that give you additional features than the original CarPlay. You have the ability to use Google Maps as a default maps which you don't have with Apple's CarPlay head units or software and you have additional applications you can add by simply tapping and holding just like you would on iPhone tapping this plus here and it allows you to choose from any of the apps that you can add onto the software you can go back now on the left side we also have a home button which serves as you know the original home button on your device but it's on the screen now you can double tap to choose the volume of the CarPlay for your navigation and you can double tap to get that to go away. Now you also have the ability to go into settings and add a widgets. So on the top left here, I got a weather widget right there. I can set up the weather widget. I can also set instead the speed so it detects the speed I'm going and additional widgets like battery percentage and background. All these settings you can play around with. You also have additional licenses and other settings you can adjust to your liking like temperature, a pilot name and things like that. When you first download the application, it's gonna walk you through an installation process or a setup process. It's very simple to set up. Uh, right here you have the messages. So this is a very useful feature because if you receive a message, you don't have to type a message. Siri will automatically read it to you and ask you if you wanna reply or you can click on this dictation button here in order to reply. Do you want to write a new message or read new messages? And as you can see there, everything is done hands-free. Uh, the phone, you can use the dialer. You can go ahead and dial phones or ask Siri to do it for you. You also have your music and your music controls. Everything looks very similar to what you would get with Apple's CarPlay on iOS and your Now Play controls, which are also available. Very, very awesome application. I would really recommend you guys go ahead and check it out. This is CarPlay for iOS. And that about brings it into this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to click that like button. Much more videos coming your way. Stay tuned. It's been iDevice Help, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.